But we begin tonight with those 13 shootings this weekend in Detroit, leaving neighborhoods in fear. The most recent shootings happened overnight at five different locations within just three hours. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shantz live at Detroit Police Headquarters. And Jen, how are people reacting to this violence? Well, Brian, I spoke to some neighbors who live near where one of those shootings occurred on Stahalen, just off Ford Road. They are extremely concerned tonight. This shooting happened where some of their kids play outside. And like all of the shootings that occurred early this morning, Detroit police are still searching for the shooter. I am very concerned. Baker El Baaj moved to Metro Detroit almost 30 years ago from Iraq. He lives on Stahalen Avenue with his wife and two kids. Hearing about five separate shootings Sunday morning worries him. We flood our country to live in peace. One of those shootings occurred just before 4 a.m. near his home off of Ford Road. Detroit police are now investigating a total of 13 separate shootings between Friday and Sunday. I think a lot of it has to do with the young people. They have nothing to do, so they tend to run to the streets. Officers also responded to shootings in these areas overnight Sunday in a span of just three hours. So far, it appears Sunday's shootings are non-fatal. Investigators are asking for the public's help in finding the shooters. People don't want to, you know, say, well, I seen him do it, you know, and then turn around and nothing happens to that person. And that person finds out you said something about it and you got to worry about them coming back to retaliate against you. The weekend violence makes El Baj worried for his family. Kids play here outside every day and it's 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 very dangerous. If there is a shooting, it's I mean, it makes us very concerned about our kids and the safety of, of our kids. And he's not alone. It's dangerous, very dangerous. We've been trying to stay away from this area. I just came out here for my mom. She lives here, but we have been trying to stay away from this area. Jen Shans back live for us tonight. And Jen, any progress on finding the suspected shooters? Well, no arrests have been made yet, Brian, and part of that may be because these suspect descriptions are relatively vague. Actually, in one case, one of the victims was going in and out of consciousness, so he really wasn't able to tell Detroit police much other than the fact that the suspects got away with his cell phone. We, of course, are expecting to learn a lot more from Detroit police tomorrow, uh, possibly photos, surveillance of the suspects or the vehicles. Again, uh, the suspect descriptions that we have right now, though, are still pretty vague, so the more details that Detroit police can release uh, the better and we expect to learn more much more tomorrow live in downtown Detroit Jen Shantz 7 action news